So Michelle, for the record, is not against fats. I'm not. I'm very, matter of fact, I'm very much pro-fat. When you look at people that do a ketogenic diet, which is like it could be anywhere from 60 to 70 percent fats, mm -hmm. they're very lean, very, very lean. Their carb intake is extremely low, but um, yeah, it's predominantly really good fats. But ketogenic, for the record, is. It's again, you know, we have different kinds. We hear all these different. I, I love someone referred to it as tribals. You know, I'm vegan. I'm paleo. You know, it's just another diet to eat and so ketogenic is a diet that is mostly pro uh, it's mostly protein and fat and, pro and mostly fat like i said fat it makes it it can be about 60 percent fat um your pro protein is going to be about 35 percent protein and only five percent carbs and so there's actually some really great science people that have had cancer they put them on a ketogenic diet and it, it really helps them with their with their cancer struggles and so again you don't when you're not taking that carbohydrate intake, you're not feeding the cancer because it's the sugar that, that feeds cancer. And so they, there's some great um, peer review studies on ketogenic diets for people with cancer. You said something, a uh, tribal way of wording things. Yeah, you know, I read an article that someone wrote and I loved it because they said, you know, everybody nowadays is, instead of just saying, I'm eating healthy, they're focused on attaching themselves to, I'm vegan. A brand. A brand or something. Mm -hmm. and. It gets old. A lot of people, especially nutritionists, we're all sick of it. You know, mm -hmm. I believe that everybody is different. You know, what works for one person doesn't work for another. And I've been humbled more than one time, you know, and had to eat crow more than once. And I've really come to appreciate, you know, that not everything works for the, everybody. You know, I have a really good friend that's a colleague. Um, she's a vegetarian, and I'm not a huge fan of vegetarian way of life. But for her, it works. She's healthier on that. When you move her to something else, her body doesn't respond well to it, and that works for her. And so, I've really come to appreciate all aspects of nutrition. A uh, pet peeve of mine, and the reason why uh, I feel good about launching DavidKimberly.com and calling it the Kimberly Plan, is I didn't relabel a diet, uh, a ketogenic diet, right. or a high carb diet, or a low carb diet, or a carb cycling diet, or or a caveman diet, or, or all the other kind of diets that are right. out there, and say, oh guys, this is the new Kimberly diet. I felt like uh, attaching myself with you and, and with the research I've done, how about we come up with a dot com where we simplify what everybody's saying, just like you just did. These guys are relabeling right. the same thing and calling it something else right. by saying, oh, you can't have an apple in this diet. Now it's not a ketogenic diet. It's a <laughs> it's a diet. We're going to call this yeah. the no apple diet. Right. You know, so I, I really feel good about the umbrella that we have where we're going to explain all the diets. We're going to explain all the fads. We're going to talk about what comes and goes. Uh, and what's worked for years. And well, and you know, just like I do, how many times have you put someone on a program that you know that you've done it yourself and you've gotten great results and they don't get results? Mm -hmm. And that's because their body doesn't respond well to certain nutrients. And so as you know, as you when you're good at what you do and you really understand nutrition on, on any level, there is no one size fits all. You have to, you know, there are some people that do better with a little bit more fat than say someone over here that mm -hmm. is they're more of a sugar burner. And so you have to adjust their nutrition to what their body needs. So basically there isn't a diet that fits all. And even though we look a certain way, good for you, Michelle, good for you, David, who can you prove you've helped that doesn't right. have the exact same body? Right. Well, and our, like I said, our body types are different. I see people that do, can do tons of carbs and tons of grains and they lean out great. I eat like that and I put on weight like crazy. My mm -hmm. body doesn't respond well to it. Mm -hmm. I just, like I said, I think that we might find someone that comes to the Kimberly plan and they might try any of the given diets and we've got over more than 150 different diets and they might try it and they're going to be like, David, I didn't see results. Michelle, I didn't see results. And it's great because they can ask us questions and we can say, okay, what did you do? What didn't you, you know, what did you notice with this or what didn't you notice? And then we can adjust and say, you know what, you might be someone that does better on this kind of a diet. And so that's kind of what we're here for is to help steer you in the right direction so you can help figure out what works for you. And to evolve that, guys, we can't help you if you don't stay on something for long enough or if you tell us you stayed on something and you didn't, which is the same thing as not staying on something or not <laughs> staying on something as long enough. I had to reword it all those ways because people get confused. If you find a plan... Please stay on it so then we as a group can decide if it works or if it doesn't and move forward and or make changes. If you make changes to a plan, that's called your plan. That's not a plan you're following. You've made changes and created your own plan. And acknowledging we all want to 
alter it and be somewhat creative and, and own it and customize everything we do, sometimes it's better to leave it alone, make sure it works, and then customize it. <laughs> do you agree? I do. I do. Well, you know, again, if people are not telling you things, they'll say, oh, I follow the diet. And then you start going through their <laughs> their a typical day in their diet and they're like oh but I also I kind of for, you know had this too mm -hmm. and those little and I had this they do affect you I'm on the Atkins diet but I drink wine every night yeah exactly wait a second <laughs> anyway thanks for sharing Michelle